Hi, good evening. My name is Ben Strand. I'm the development director over at the Young Auditorium at UW Whitewater. Thank you all for coming out this evening to the Hedberg Library here in Janesville. We're very happy to um, have the kickoff of our second big read here in Janesville. Um, today, on April 1st, 2010, there will be 16 area libraries in Rock, Walworth, and Jefferson County doing similar programs to what we're having here. They'll be giving out um, free books, uh, Sunstone and Shadows, um, free t-shirts, and free tickets to perform to our finale, which will be on Tuesday, May the 4th at 7.30 at the Young Auditorium in Whitewater. Um, I just uh, want to run through um, some thank yous and give you a little bit more information about the Big Read before we welcome Felipe Rodriguez Jr. to the stage. Um, the Big Read is an initiative of the National Endowment for the Arts. It is designed to restore reading to the center of American culture. The NEA presents the Big Read in partnership with the Institute of Museum and Library Services and in cooperation with Arts Midwest. Support for the Big Read is provided by the W.K. Kellogg Foundation Transportation for the Big Read is provided by Ford. This is the second Big Read in southeastern Wisconsin. We are one of 278 communities throughout the United States participating this, um, this cycle. To date, the NEA has funded more than 500 Big Read programs in nations and towns across the country. Um, additional local sponsorship is supported by American Family Insurance in Madison and at Fort Healthcare in Fort Atkinson. Um, we are very happy to have media sponsors as well, including the Janesville Gazette here in Janesville, and also the Daily, Jeff the da Daily Jefferson County Union. Um, I have a few people to thank for the kickoff. Um, all the staff at the library systems, including Martha Gammons at the Arrowhead Library System, Jean Yeomans, Renee Bue, uh, Elizabeth Huff, and Linda Belkamp, um, here on the staff of the Pedburg Public Library. Uh, Los Amigos um, here in Janesville is providing all of the great food that you're um, partaking in, um, as well as I'd like to thank students from the Parker High School Spanish Honor Society and all the 16 area libraries in Rock, Walworth, and Jefferson County. This is just the first event. We'll have events throughout the month of April up until May the 4th. Um, and the best way to find out about all the events is really to check out our, our website at uww. Um, Dot edu backslash young auditorium there's a link to all the individual libraries so I'll be doing special programming book reads um, special activities for kids uh, more music and food programs throughout the month I'll just note a couple upcoming events though next week on at Wednesday at noon uh, Martin Van Delden who is a professor at UCLA will be talking about our chosen book Sunstone and Shadows he'll be at noon up at U Rock on Wednesday May 8th, and then, uh, I'm sorry, Thursday, May 8th, Thursday, April 8th, <laughs> rather. And then later that night at 7 o'clock, he'll be up at the University Center at UW-Whitewater. And then uh, UW-Whitewater will be hosting the finale um, of the three-county uh, Big Read from 4 to 7 on Tuesday, May 4th. There'll be a bunch of free Cinco de Mayo activities. Now it's the day before Cinco de Mayo. Um, they'll be having a mariachi band, a lot of the restaurants will have special one and two dollar um, food and beverage specials. Um, there'll also be a world premiere by Studio 84. They're doing a theater adaptation of the book Sunstone and Shadows, Waves Seen, Waves Heard. And then there'll be a free shuttle from downtown Whitewater to the Young Auditorium, just a few blocks away. <coughs> a few blocks away. And at the Young Auditorium at 7.30, the group's uh, Sones de Mexico will be performing. It's a great um, performance. They do all kinds of traditional Mexican um, styles. Um, they go through all the different regions of Mexico. Um, they show the different repertoire instruments in the dancing and singing style. So please consider joining us for that. Um, also, while um, Felipe is performing, we will start to be drawing prizes. We'll be giving away tickets to Sones de Mex Mexico, other shows at the Young Auditorium, um, the official Big Read t-shirt, as well as the official book, Sunstone and Shadows. So as you um, leave, please check the table outside to see if you want anything, and we'll be drawing throughout the evening. So if you do win something, um, the good folks at the Hedberg Library will be calling you. Now, um, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Felipe Rodriguez Jr. He's a musician from Milwaukee. Um, he's been um, performing traditional folk music from Puerto Rico, Mexico, and Cuba 
to diverse audiences in Wisconsin and throughout the U.S. We've kept him very busy today. This will be, uh, I think, his fifth performance today. He did two shows very early this morning, this morning in Delavan and Darien schools. And then this afternoon, he was up at uh, Lincoln Elementary in Whitewater and did two performances there. And now, for about an hour, he's going to perform for us and go through all the different styles. And uh, please join with me and welcome Felipe Rodriguez, Jr. Thank you. Good afternoon, or good evening. How are you? Good, You're doing. Isn't it nice outside? Oh, it's gorgeous. It really is. Um, I wanted to thank Ben uh, for inviting me and, you know, taking care of all the things that uh, people do, you know, programming and all that. Uh, and Shannon, who was also contacted me about six months ago or nine months ago. Uh, but, but anyway, uh, the big read is so really neat to, you know, to see that, you know, they're moving with reading. Uh, and, and it's really important for me because I work at UWM and I also teach, by the way, I teach Latino studies. And I also do recruitment and I do outreach and so I do all kinds of things within the School of Education. And, and one of my most important things is that I recruit students to become teachers. You know, and one of the things that we always talk about, especially in high school, high school uh, individuals or young adults, is reading. How important reading is. Did you know that a good almost 75% of students who graduate from high school, okay, from the inner cities actually never pick up a book again in their lives? You know? And that's a sad story. Uh, families, almost 80% of families actually, you know, do not see a book, you know, uh, or open up a book. And I can tell you that because I see it. Individuals who don't pick up a book to read. How many of you like to read? I do. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm doing a study. Uh, now, the, somebody's doing a study and they just sent me this questionnaire telling me, what are my three favorite books? And I started thinking, what are my three favorite books? Uh, <coughs> and actually, can you name your three favorite books right now, last, if I were to ask you? The last three I read. Okay, the last three you read. <laughs> but book that had an impact on your life. I can name you one. I can actually name the three because I started thinking, what are the three books? And actually, The Hobbit. You've heard of The Hobbit, right? The Hobbit. I read that book when I was 13 years old. I, ne I never really found anything interesting about reading. I didn't really want to read till I read The Hobbit. The Hobbit was the one that actually opened up the doors for me, for fiction, you know, and it was really, I was so captivated by it that I actually went out, and by the way, I found this book, or for, I bought it for five or six, you know, five cents or something, and I remember, I because I grew up in Chicago, and so I picked it up, and I started reading it, and so I was so fascinated with it, and so engrossed that I went out and actually got me the, the other books, you know, and of course, you know, now they have the movie, you know, uh, so I actually went out and bought the movies too, by the way. Okay, so the other book that I read that really actually made an impact on my life was called Down These Mean Streets. Have you ever heard of that book? Down These Mean Streets is a book written by Piri Thomas. Piri Thomas is a Puerto Rican. Let me put it better. Piri Thomas is a black Puerto Rican, okay? Grew up in New York City thinking that he was Puerto Rican, okay? But every time he went out, people thought that he was African-American. But he was having this identity crisis saying, well, hold it, but I'm Puerto Rican. But when he went out, because he looked African-American, you know, people were saying, no, but you are African-American. So that book actually led me to be more conscientious about who I was as a Puerto Rican. Okay? By the way, I was born in Puerto Rico. Uh, my, my parents brought me to Chicago when I was about six years old. So I grew up in Chicago, went to school at U University of Illinois. And so that's where I did all my, and I came to Milwaukee in 1976 after I graduated from the University of Illinois in Champaign-Urbana. So that book had a big impact on me in terms of an, an identity, who I was, you know. In addition to joining, you know, Gaff, you know Gaff, the Puerto Rican Socialist Party and some other stuff that I was doing. Uh, the third book that actually had a bigger impact on me was also Pedagogy of the Oppressed. Have you ever heard about that book? It was written by, now I forget his name. I've been saying his name all day, now I forget. Um, Paulo Freire. Paulo Freire from Brazil writes this book on Pedagogy of the Oppressed. And actually that was the first, one of the first books that I read when I went to the University of Illinois. 